What's going on guys? Today we have the full version of Forza Horizon 3. I know the full version technically isn't out yet, but I got my hands on it and I wanted to start up my Let's Play today. So let's do it with Forza Horizon 3, boys. If you guys are as excited as I am for this game, you can hit that subscribe button down below. Get notified of every time I post a new video. We're going to be doing Let's Plays, tutorials, builds, walkthroughs, and basically anything you guys want, actually. So if there's something that you haven't seen yet, let me know in the comments down below and I will do my best to try and make a video about it so I can let you guys know exactly what's going on with Forza Horizon 3. But let's jump into this. This is the full game. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh yes, I'm gonna get to customize my character. Oh, I've gotta go with this guy. There's a bunch of faces in here for you guys to choose from. I think there's 16, but there's some good uh, diversity in that list. I'm gonna go with the guy I went with last time, but you can totally change him at any point you, in the game you want. And I mean, with names, there's a bunch of really cool ones, like Drift King, obviously. There's there's some pretty good stuff in here. There's also, there's Master Chief in there, a little, uh, little shout out to the Warthog that's now in the game. And there's also, if I can find it, Stig. I'm gonna be boring and just go with a good old fashioned okay, Nick. Great. So and we're good it. to go. All right, so this is exactly starting up the same way that the demo did. So... What I'm gonna do is just cut this race out because you've seen it probably a thousand times and join up after this race. The thing that will be important though is picking up these fans. We are gonna need them because as we're not in the demo anymore, they sort of do matter in opening up new festivals and things like that. Same goes for XP. Our XP will go towards uh, getting new wheel spins, which will be super, super helpful later on. And then our money is just gonna help us build cars and stuff. Hey, achievement, welcome to Horizon. Celebrate opening your Horizon Festival site and something. Anyways, I've gotta go sign a drive guitar now. So you've already seen this as well, so we'll go cut that out as well. Oh, find Helios! No way! He's, uh, he's Mr. Microsoft. Thank you, Helios, thank you, Ian. Hey, look at that, I did that as well. All right, let's sign Helios to the team. Mr. Ian. Let's get him! Alright, now we just gotta drive to the beach exactly the same way we did in the demo, so... You're probably used to it now. Got that out. Oh, achievement! You're hired! What is this gonna be? Hire your first driver tar for your driver tar lineup. Thank you, game! I'm racking in the achievements, man. So are we gonna have the same four cars to select? Yes, we will! Alright, so we've got the choice okay, of an boss, M4, really S15, Mustang, GT350R, or a Ute. Racing. And I mean, you guys have already seen the Sylvia on the channel, you've already seen the BMW M4 on the channel, you've already seen the Ute on the channel. You guys haven't seen the Mustang yet, so I think... I think we're gonna go with that. I can't wait to drive this thing around. Alright, let's get our plate on this thing. We're gonna go with a clean AR-12 plate. I'd love to see what type of plates you guys put on your cars. If you guys have any really cool plates, let me know on Twitter. I would love to see them, so if uh, if you do if you do want to share them, my Twitter's in the description down below. I, I'd love to check them out and maybe even share the best ones. Anyways, there we go. We've got our clean AR-12 plate. Let's grab the Mustang, and let's get going with some of our races. That is the dirty sound off the Mustang. Damn. Anyways, here's the full map just to show it actually is the full game. We've got Surface Paradise up here. You guys can see that. We've got this massive, massive straight to test top speeds of cars. And of course, we have the airport, which is also enormous, where we can go and drag race cars. There's a cool car meet up there, I've heard. And I mean, that's the whole outback out of everything. Oh, the Mustang sounds good. Now, one of the things I've heard from the from 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 you guys from the demo is that there's a 20,000 XP board nestled on the top of one of these 12 apostles over here what a conspicuously nice it's gonna be quite hard to get but I think it'll be Just worth it. anyways what is this ocean trail racing. I think we've so done this already the in the demo so exhibition. we'll cut it out again so I mean I won that race I had to do a little bit of defense I did win this race right I had to do a bit of defending on some of the places but I mean that, that's probably a pretty good difficulty for me, I feel like. I'm not, I, I mean, we'll do a couple more races to see how easy it is for me to win, but might have to turn it up one notch. Hey, and I get another achievement, one of us. What's that gonna be for? Win your first Horizon exhibition race as the festival boss. Thank you very much. We've got 30,000 credits. Let's get some XP as well. Leveling up is gonna be super important. Oh, look at this, it spawns us right in front 
of a thousand XP board. Thank you. I'm gonna grab that. Leveling up is gonna be important, man. Also, if you want a shortcut when you play the game, you can just totally drive up here, and then you'll see what happens. It respawns you on the other side. It respawns you on this side. Yep. And we get some massive air. 120 meters of air. It's pretty solid. And another achievement. Look at that. Stay on target. Thank you, game. Get three stars on any danger side. So now I don't know what we're going to up here, but I don't think... Was this in the demo? I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, we've totally done this. This is the one where it rains and then stuff. So, cut it out. So the difficulty might actually be bang on because I didn't win that race. I came second. Hopefully, hopefully I'll have enough... I'll, or I'll have earned enough fans to actually open my first festival and enough XP to level up because both of those are going to be pretty important. I'm not too worried about the money because obviously Fort's rewards. We've gotten up to 40k now, which is great. But this is where it's going to be important. We're level 2 now. There we go. We're 9,000 XP away from leveling up again, which is great. And I mean, we can probably do that next race. Sweet. Let's get the wheel spin going. We've got a Dodge Challenger RT. And let's see what we're going to get. 25k. That's going to be huge for us. 50k because we're a VIP. Thank you very much. And we're going to get enough fans to expand the festival. This is looking good. All right, where are we headed now? This is all new now. This was not in the demo. We're headed down to the Byron Bay Festival. And we're going to go open this thing up and possibly upgrade it, I believe. This is seriously one of my favorite parts about Australia. It's just enormous and there's not even anything here. It's just a field. But it's so cool. Oh, I spotted an XP board back there. I'll have to go back and get that at some point. Drift in the Mustang. Oh, this is off-road. I didn't realize this was off-road. I think once we upgrade the festival, a lot of this will actually become tarmac and stuff like that, which is really nice because, I mean, driving off-road everywhere is great and all if you're in the outback, but if you're, like, on the coast and stuff, I don't really want to be driving off-road unless I'm on the beach, obviously, but anyways, let's head in here, expand the festival, and let's see what happens. So a lot of people were saying, what happens when you expand the festival? Well, I'll show you exactly what happens. And we're gonna pop an achievement for that. You are the boss. Expand your Horizon Festival for the first time. And we basically get this cool cinematic of them building it. And then we get these nice tarmac roads. Level 2 Byron Bay Festival. I'm not sure what the max level is for a festival. But I know you can obviously upgrade them. And you have to choose when to build them. Because we can obviously either expand this festival as much as we want. Or go and build a completely another one in the Outback. Or Surface Paradise a little bit later on. Anyways, we're jumping in to the garage here, and we're going to get told so far, what's up. Kira said I should get you set up with another car for this next set of races. Take a look at these, and whichever you fancy is yours to keep. Sweet. So we've got an X6M, we've got an SRT Jeep, we've got a Lamborghini Urus, which is eh, or a Range Rover that is supercharged. I mean, which one do we go for? They're all pretty cool in their own right. But I mean, that Urus is crazy fast, top of S class, or A class. I feel like I want to go with the Jeep. The Jeep's probably a little bit of a different choice than most people would go with, but I like the Jeep, and we'll get it. We'll invest in an SVR Ranger like a little bit later on. I think we're just gonna go with a classic red on the good old Jeep. I, I realize we've gone all American so far for the start of this Horizon Let's Play. We've gone with the Mustang, and we've gone with a Jeep now. Hey, look at that sweet SRT engine, man. 6.4 liter Hemi. I know the paint's not dry on our Byron expansion yet. But we could really bring Horizon to more fans if we open a second festival location. Meanwhile, I've just got the latest reports from our scout crews, all marked on your map. No rest for the wicked. Cool, so we'll have to head down here and do some, uh, some stuff here. So we've got a PR stunt over here, we've got an undiscovered route, which will most likely be a race. I know there's a beauty spot right there, I'm surprised we're not heading there. Anyways, there's another PR stunt there. And we've got a race up here as well. So, I mean, you can see some of the upgrades. There's gravel roads now instead of the instead of the dirt roads, like here. But uh, we're definitely expanding this festival and it's starting to look really, really good, which is, which is nice. This Jeep sounds so godly. It sounds so muscle car. I mean, it's a Jaime, so that would make sense. But still, it sounds really good. Oh, I know there's a, an XP board right under here. I'm just going to grab real quick. Thank you. Yeah, the Aerial Nomad. All right, let's do it. The Horizon Bucket List is where we get a bit existential. If this was your last day on Earth, imagine what you drive and what you do in it. Then, take the car I've left for you and do it. This is one of my favorite intros now. Like, the way they introduce these races and bring you into the car 
feels really, really cool. I really, really like it. But because this is a bucket list. Now, bucket lists don't actually have waypoints or anything like that. So, because this is Horizon, just go off-road. Just go the shortest route. So, I mean, I'm going to do that. The, the, the game's telling me... Oh. Yeah. Oh, my God. I ended up in the trees. All right. You know what we're going to do? I can see the destination on my map. Or up in the distance up here. I'm just going to make beeline straight to it. Follow this, this river down. And I mean, I know this is one of the fastest ways of getting there because where we're going to is one of the Horizon Beauty spots, which is the waterfall. And I mean, the, the, the water here has to come from somewhere, right? And my mind is thinking, it's got to come from the waterfall. Balls. Anyways, there's the uh, beauty spot up in front of... Wait, is this not where we're going? Oh god, I went to the wrong place. Wait, are we supposed to be... Where are we supposed to be? I've gone to the wrong waterfall. Why are there two waterfalls, Horizon? And we've made it to the other waterfall, finally. Here we go, and across the line. Thank you for that, success. You got to your destination. Give me some money. I mean, 6K, I mean, we're nearly at 100K. We're nearly in Lambo territory. I mean, cheap Lambo territory, but still. 2,000 XP away from leveling up. We're gonna pull in like 2K fans, so that's not too bad. We need 26K to build our next festival, so I mean, We'll get to that pretty soon, I think. Hey, so we've completed the bucket list. It spawns us back down here. Oh, there's a new Drivatar over here. We can go scout them out, but I think I'm going to go to this undiscovered route and see if we can do another race and then maybe head up and do this next PR stunt. Actually, you know what? Since these Drivatars help us so much in the way of getting fans and stuff like that for our, for our festivals, we should probably go do this because it will mean that we get more fans from our races, which means we can expand our festival faster. I mean, that's my thinking, at least. I am in this massive Jeep, so if this guy's in a supercar, I am screwed. Oh, here he is! It's Mechberg! More Forza team people! And I got so lucky he's in a Range Rover, man. If he was in something different, I would have been so screwed. All right, let's challenge Mechberg. Oh no! He's probably quite quick. Anyways, here's the other thing. Horizon, these, these races as well, work very similarly to the bucket list in the sense that there are no waypoints. And you can make your own route. I think Mechberg got held up. Mechberg got held up on the rocks back there. He crashed into the rocks. Well, thank you for the win, good sir. I, what, what? Oh, I've crashed into a wall. God damn it, Trump. All right, let's cross this line. Get our fans rolling. Oh, I spawned an XP board. Sweet. Thank you, you win. Gonna get some money for that 2k, it's not really gonna be too useful to us. But I mean, every little bit's gonna count. There's a thousand XP. We're gonna level up. Let's get our wheel spin going. Let's see what we're gonna get. Oh my god, I could win the Horizon- the 4 GT- GT Horizon Edition. I'm gonna pull 15k. That's gonna double to 30. That's gonna be pretty useful, that's the thing. Upgrading or leveling up, for instance, is the best way to get money in this game. I'm gonna do a complete video on how to get money and the best ways of doing it. But look out for that, but I'm saying, for sure, best way of doing it, level up. All right, let's just grab that XP board. That's going to be an extra thousand on the way to our next place. Let's just grab this beauty spot and get some XP. I think we get some XP for this. I'm not actually sure. So do we get any XP for that? Uh, no, we just got, we just got one out of 13, so that's okay. Anyways, let's go to this event right here, the Undiscovered Route, and start this race up. All right, let's get this thing going in the big bad Jeep. We've got a bunch of off-road cars. Is that a, is that a SVR? Might be. Oh my God, look at this. We're just going through people's backyards because why not? It's Horizon. Oh wow, this is really, really cool. I'm really enjoying this. Also, my custom plate looks really good. But what I'm noticing is the driver tars like this guy on my right. He doesn't have a custom plate. He just doesn't have a plate at all, actually. Huh. Wonder why that's a thing. Look how many stunt points we're getting for this. Because we're crashing through everything, technically, we're getting a bunch of points for, like, wreckage and wrecking ball and, like, drifts and air. What a good way to get, like, skill points. Let's just, like, crash into stuff on purpose, get some air, do some drifting. What a cool thing. Also, this race will probably be a good test of how the Drivatars are doing against us. So, I mean... 
If we win this by a lot, I guess we'll turn the difficulty up a bit. If we don't, if it's a close race, then hey, we'll keep it the same. For right now, though, it's looking like a pretty solid race between myself and this X6. He is not letting up. I mean, I can get away a little bit just because of the way I take the corners. I take them a little bit faster, which is nice, but hey, I can't really hang around too much because he's going to... Oh my god! He nearly jumped me in the air. He's going to have the inside line going into like this final corner. I'm going to try to... Yeah, a little bit of... A little bit of late breaking there on the X6. And we're nearly there. Nearly there. Get this outside checkpoint. Yes. Oh, no. That was really close. We nearly ruined that race for ourselves. There we go. First place, though. We do have the fastest lap by two seconds, which isn't bad. But let's pull in some... We're going to pull in some good money from that. Some good XP from that. And hopefully some decent fans. There's 8,000 credits. XP, we're 5,000 XP away from leveling up again. So, I mean, after the next race, we'll level up. And we're going to be 4,000 fans from opening our next festival. So, that's huge. So, all right. We've got our undiscovered PR stunt here. I actually have no idea what this PR stunt is. But hopefully after that, we'll go up here. Or maybe maybe just from that, we'll have enough fans to open up our next, uh, our next festival. This Jeep is actually super nice to drive. I wouldn't have thought of it, like, being like... Hey, you know what I really want to start Horizon 3 in? A Jeep, but it's actually really, really nice. Considering where we are right now, a lot of stuff is off-road. It's really handy to have an off-road car like this. Oh, speed trap, yeah. Like you knows what to do yeah, I didn't really gun it through there too quickly. On, not fast enough. Still visible to the naked eye. Oh, wow, I didn't even get one star. There's 150 kilometers an hour. There we go, this one's a lot better. Nearly 200 kilometers an hour in a stock Jeep. It's pretty crazy. I mean, it is an SRT, but still, it's pretty quick. Two stars for that. Not bad. I earned 3,000 fans from driving through a speed trap? Anyways, let's set a waypoint up to there, to that undiscovered route. Um, I think we're going to have to go off-road to this, but I do want to just go get this fast travel board up here. So I think this fast travel board is under this bridge. Ah, yes, it is. There we go. Fast travel boards, one of 50. Alrighty, so we've got our first cross-country event. After this race, we should have enough XP to go and open up our next festival. You guys gotta let me know where you guys want me to open up. Do you guys want me to open up at Surfer's Paradise in the huge city? Or do you guys want me to open it up in the outback in the middle of nowhere? Let me know in the comments down below and we'll do a little bit of a vote. And you guys can let me know what place you guys choose. This really feels like Horizon 2 Storm Island. With these massive inclines and these massive declines. And everything's off-road. And then you've got these huge jumps. Where you just pull huge amounts of air. Like, we're in a stock Jeep. We're not even in, like, a rally truck. And we're pulling crazy stuff like this. It's really, really cool. The only thing I'm scared of in this game that I wasn't scared of in Horizon 2. Was just scary house in the middle of nowhere. Because, I mean, that's a thing, right? People in Australia, there's, there's sometimes just, like, a house. In the middle of nowhere, I'll be like, what are you doing living there? Like, this is what I mean. Houses like that scare me a lot because I have no idea where they are. And I mean, hey, here's another great way to get a bunch of skill points. Like, look at all these skill points we're pulling in. So this is really confusing to me. For some reason, I'm so much faster than the AI through, like, the off-road stuff. But then as soon as I get on tarmac, they seem to be really quick. Like, I can pull from them through a lot of this. So I don't know. We'll need to play around with the difficulty a little bit. Maybe head up to, what is it, Pro After Expert? I, I'm not sure, but we'll check it out. We'll stay tuned and, and, and whatnot, but anyways, let's keep going in our Jeep. We're so close to unlocking our new festival. I'm so pumped. And here we go. 95% of this race completed. We got the AI just ba back there. We're going to take this race first place. Not bad. That one was a much more comfortable win, actually. So I don't know what we'll do you with the different thing. Anyways, cars. let's you know see how much money we're going to get, how much XP, how many fans. We're going to be pulling in some decent money from that. Nearly 10k. Wow. That was sweet. All right. XP, we are going to level up as well. We're now level four. We're doing a lot of leveling up. 599 GTO is the car we could win. Come on. 50k. 75k doubles up to 150k. That is a huge wheel spin, man. That is awesome. Collect that prize. I don't even know how much money we have anymore. But this is more important. We got enough fans to open up our next festival, boys. So, where's it gonna be? Is it gonna be Surfer's Paradise? 
Or is it gonna be in the Outback? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm gonna end it there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, subscribe, give it a like. I'll see you guys tomorrow with part two. See you guys next.